those who do not speak other languages. So we want to say briefly to our Spanish-speaking listeners, saludos a todos nuestros, audiencia de habla hispana en el nombre de Jesucristo. Cristo. Este es el programa Verdad de Dios con el Pastor Gino Jennings. Esta transmisión llega, llega a ustedes de la primera iglesia de nuestro de Señor Jesucristo, localizada en el 5105 Norte Quinta Calle, y el Indiablo, en Filadelfia, Pennsylvania, 19120 en los Estados Unidos de América. Le invitamos a que nos escriba y solicite los siguientes folletos bíblicos gratis. Que Dios les bendiga. Esperamos que nos escriban pronto. That's to our Spanish speaking listeners. Again, we're going to now present on to our leader, teacher, guide. He certainly is the <clears throat> messenger and ambassador of the Almighty God, the Apostle, Pastor Gino Jones. My God, he can do anything. My God. He can do anything. He has the power. He has the power. My God can do. Yes, my God. My God. Hallelujah! Thank you. Yes, he can. God has. Yes. Yes, my God. Yes, sir. My God. Hallelujah! Thank you. God has. Yes. Yes, my God. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. My God. Yes, again. God has. Oh! 
Aleluya. Aleluya. Yeah. Lord has. Lord has. Greetings, brothers and sisters, friends, and to my wonderful enemies. We bear witness once again that there is absolutely, positively, no God but one. Amen. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God equal to him. He is God alone. He have no rivals. He have no partners. He is the only wise God. We thank him for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. <clears throat> we thank him for being the true sender and teacher of holy prophets and holy apostles. Most of all, we thank him for the way of holiness. We are enjoying this youth conference. It has been, it has been, and it certainly is a blessing to see the many brothers and sisters that are present and you that are in the gymnasium in the overflow uh, area. You that are watching, we're glad to come back that we may disturb and interrupt your life again. Bring your pastor what he's not telling you and what he don't want you to know. We're glad to come back in your home so we can throw out your second husband and make his second wife run out the house. This program is designed to get you right, keep you right, if you want to be right. You have to want to be right. One thing I learned about God, that if you want to be right, he will make a way for you to get right. Well, it's supposed to be dark outside now, according to the false prophecy that some woman told. It's supposed to be pitch black all around the world. And like I said before, so sad now again, we're living in a time that God is really manifesting the falsehood that is in religion and that is in people. People have a lot of hope and lies. They have more hope in the devil than they do God. Now to all the brothers and sisters that are watching around the world, we greet all of you and, and we are grateful. We're sorry for you that's not able to be here in the States uh, because of the restrictions in your area. To the many brothers and sisters that is throughout Europe, the Netherlands, Germany, and England. Uh, you that's in the South Pacific and the Fiji Islands, and Hawaiian Islands, Crook Islands, Samoan Islands, Australia, New Zealand, and just so many areas. This program is dedicated to all believers, and is even dedicated to the unbeliever, that he and she may become a believer. God only have one standard, one message, one way to get to him. It's not Geno Jennings' way, because if it was, Geno Jennings wouldn't be here. Not on Sunday. A little brisk outside, but the sun is shining enough to cut the devil. So this is not Geno Jennings' way. I wouldn't be here. All of us is here because of God. God mercy what brought you here. If it wasn't from God, Many of you know what you'll be doing about now. You'll be doing the same thing you were doing before God dealt with you. Some of you will be dead because of the silly life you were living. 
So you must look back at God's mercy and respect it. It is only God that have you living, viewer, that give you a chance to get Bible right. The devil make you mad at me and tell you that I sound harsh. I sound mean. I'm a pretty nice fella. <laughs> My job is simply to tell you what God said. And the false prophet job is to tell you what the devil said. So we at war for souls. That's what it is. It's a fight for souls. The devil work in favor of the way you think. The devil work in favor of the way you feel. And the devil work in favor and what you want to do. That's why you love him more than you love God. God, spirit of truth. Satan, spirit of error. God worked totally opposite from the way you think, the way you feel. That's why he required that you be born again. Because the way you are, you're full of the devil and wicked God knows. Well, I, there's several things that I must bring to the attention of our viewers before we do. Uh, you got a line drawn here, Brother James. Is all one? Oh, all right. Those that are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ so far, what we have here, 17 in headquarters, 10 in Newport News, 2 in Detroit, 2 in Johannesburg, South Africa, 11 in Canada, 31 in Texas. So as you can see, brothers and sisters, as I said before, so sad now again, the great move of God, the pandemic haven't stopped that at all. I've never seen a virus that can stop the spirit of God. In fact, nothing can stop God's spirit. I want to remind everybody, you can start preparing yourself now for the International Holy Convocation in July. Amen. You can start making those plans now. Get yourself ready to come on back and hopefully you that were not able to make the youth conference, there's some form of leverage, I hope, in your country where you're able to make it to the General Assembly Holy Convocation. Now, like always, well, like everybody can't fit here and everybody couldn't fit in the gym. But I'm praying that we have the main auditorium done before this year is out. I'm praying for that. Uh, my architect contacted me yesterday. He says the steel is being cut as we speak and all the proper size bolts is being made. And he said, Pastor Jennings, uh, your steel will be shipped to you maybe in a few days. He said, but when it's come, they're going to be ready to mount it up. Amen. I'll probably be so happy. I may clam up there and amen. May shout a little. But I'd be glad to get inside the main auditorium. And, and even that won't be enough room. For this vision that God gave us is bigger than Lindley Avenue. And God has proven it to be so. Now, I want to just say to my young people, you parents, I advise you to get your children to the screen, be it the computer or television. I want to address something that needs to be addressed. You know, the Bible talks about men sort out many inventions. Seeking out many inventions, some inventions are good, some are evil. For well, the book of scripture teaches us about inventors of evil things. evil things. And then the Bible tells us and warns us and admonish us about the snares of the devil. As I said on countless occasions, the entertainment industry 
and the music industry joined with religion have played and are playing a major role in the destruction of young people, in the destruction of family structure. You can be sitting at a red light and a father and a mother will pull up in an SUV or a car with their children, playing the most vile, vulgar, cussing music under the sun. And daddy and mama's bobbing their head to it. Religion now have gotten so wicked, they use celebrities to lower disciples to their religion. They don't care if that celebrity is transgender. They don't care if it's a prostitute. They don't care if it's a homosexual, sexual, long as it's a celebrity. So they use their name to get members, but they never teach the celebrity that they gotta change their life. So entertainers, rappers, musicians, movie stars, whatever else they may be, Join these Pentecostals, Baptists, non-denominational, some brag and say they go to some apostolic church as if that means something. And then the bishop rejoice, never at no time speaking against anything they may do, sing, practice, say, or wear long as that man or woman that's a shining star in their eyes can bring attention to that church, to that religion, or to that preacher. Especially if the entertainer or musician making plenty of money. You know that false prophet is not going to turn down that check. The truth of God have earned the reputation of being a Bible firm program. We lay in the Bible. There's some right men say, can't you give your opinion sometime? No, it don't mean nothing. I must give you scripture all the time. That way when you get mad, you get mad at God and not get mad at Geno Jennings. There's a homosexual rapper. God, his name is. I figure some of y'all will know. <laughs> Little Nodge. Homosexual Nodge. Gay Nodge. He flaunt. His homosexuality. So, I was told he made a video, and last week I was in a barber shop, and it just so happened, me, a Sunni Muslim, a Hebrew Israelite, all of us was in there together. And we all was talking about it, and the barber said, I heard about it, but I didn't see it. So he put it on. And I heard about how he made mockery of God. And this whole video was blasphemy. Until when he had it on, even a Sunni Muslim said, turn it off. He said, man, turn it off. He loves Satan. I mean, when I say he loves Satan, he loves Satan. Satan. That's right. So he took a stripper pole look and made it appear as if it was descending from heaven all the way down into hell. Had on boots of a woman that come way up over the knee to the thigh. 
with little short shorts to advertise his foolish looking homosexual body. Made it look like wings come from his back so he could imitate the fallen angels and descended. And before he went that far, first he showed as if it was Satan in the Garden of Eden so he can have sex with him. Making mockery of God putting out the angels, he comes down on the pole, goes into hell, and someone is dressed to look like Satan. And then he gives Satan a lap dance on his private parts. As if that wasn't enough, he made some sneakers. Bring it out here, we can get some brothers to help you. I want this to be good for you parents. Because the Bible talk about devices, Satan devices. Satan devices, Satan devices come in clothing, in music, in apparel, in churches. I want to show this to my viewing audience. Just set them, lean that up against there, and, and I choose them one by one. No, lean it up against that rail there. All right. Now, Nike. You see, you know, I really don't care who nobody is. I'm the type of man who ain't afraid of suits. You sue me, you will never get nothing. Did I stutter? I said, if you sue Pastor Gino Jennings, I won't give you nothing. I go to jail before I bow to any human on this planet. <laughs> Nike, he has sneakers made by Nike, but now Nike is suing him because he got an outside vendor to modify his product. Within these sneakers, the sole is clear with a red liquid and real human blood. First, I'm gonna start with the emblem of the sneaker. For you that don't know what this is, The emblem where the tongue of the sneaker is, is a pentagram. You know what a pentagram is? It is used in satanic worship and in satanic rituals. You got some churches that are actually called the church of Satan. The church of Satan. So Satan, this act is a manifestation of the serpent character of Satan being subtle That's right. and putting out products that you may join his homosexual behavior. Now, this right. is a sneaker. The box. He's so perverted until even the box that the sneakers come in. Full of satanic emblems and satanic quotations. Mm -hmm. Someone said, preach the gospel. I am. If you see here, he have what it looked like a satanic demon. 
an area of the script of the sneaker is the scripture that's written in the book of Luke that says I beheld Satan fall from heaven as lightning. As lightning. You see the pentagram there. And he also had the number 666. This is showing more of the, the box. I want my viewing audience. It's important you see this because you parents, yes, I've been warning you. The homosexual community, the entertainment community, want our children. So you better be careful what your children buy and what they bring in that house and make sure that it does not promote evil or witchcraft or Satan. Now if the brothers can't see it well, when we do a live webcast, it's automatically recorded on YouTube. So what you can see, well, you can turn on YouTube and you'll be able to see it. I know some of y'all saying, I want to see it now. All right. <laughs> His love for the mark of the beast, 666. So that means he had 600, he had 666 pairs of sneakers made. They was sold, but they didn't even last on a shelf, no time. Here's another look at the box. This image supposed to be Satan killing souls in hell. My Lord. Isn't that something? He want to make sure that he advertise the devil. He's working for the devil. He's advertising the devil. So when you advertise for the devil and you are a celebrity, children and adults look at the celebrity status and that status lure children into their world and the children have a desire to be like them. So that means mimic them, wear what they wear, act the way they act, say what they say. Now, viewers, if celebrities say that wrong is right, the children out there are going to believe them. Here is a full shot of the sneaker. You see the liquid? This is a clear soul with human's blood. Lord. Here, you see the number. Six, six, six. Mark of the beast with the pentagram. Human blood. The pentagram is not only at the tongue, but it's also down within the shoe, at the heel of the sole, on the inside. You see, this program deals with everything. Are you listening? This is what he have on the heel of the shoe. Mischief. Nask. Advertising. So I'm going to say, why you got his face covered? 
Let his face be seen on his own rotten program. All right, you brothers, take this out, please. Come on, brothers, let's take this out. Get it out the way. Let's take it back over there and back inside of the foyer there. Second Corinthians chapter 2. I want to demonstrate it. That's Bible. Paul said we don't need to preach with power, but in demonstrations. You parents, you entertainers, let's have a hardcore bare knuckle talk. Because you don't like to speak out against nothing. Especially one of your own. One entertainer said, I don't speak out against no man the way he make money. <laughs> Two things is being promoted from this homosexual Satanist. Well, more than two things. The hate for God, one. The love for Satan, two. Then, come on, brother, move quick. The endorsement of homosexuality, three. So, this young, no more than maybe 19, 20, 21, 22. Homosexual who will prance around. And then, while I was in a barbershop, they showed the letter that a 14-year-old boy sent them, applauding him for his video and sneakers, and saying, you make young people like me proud to come out of the closet. What of God said, God is not mocked. Right. Satan is worshipped in the earth more than God. Right. Are you listening? Right. Satan is respected more, worshipped more, honored more, Praised more than God. Because the religion of men promote Satan's agenda. God's agenda is all wrapped with scripture. Satan's agenda use scripture to hide his real agenda. You know, like a man gets dressed up like a woman to hide the fact he's a man. So you got these weak preachers like Jake's who says churches have their own philosophy about homosexuality. Jake's was asked, can the church and homosexuality coexist? He said, well, certainly uh, they can exist. There are many ways to get to God. You know you're going to hell. There's no many ways to get to God. Jesus said, I am, I am the God. way, not we are. I am. While our children are lost, wandering, Like Cain. Back, vagabond mentality. Vagabond heart. A vagabond way of thinking. So they wander from group to group. And each group they wander to that group feed them with more and more ideas from hell. Right. Viewers, 
scientists and doctors say that children are born gay. Are you listening to the old man? We debunk that theory. That's right. I challenge any scientist and any doctor on the planet because there's only one creator. That's right. I say one. one. That's right. Give me the book of Malachi now. Book Move Malachi fast. chapter 2 and verse 10. Listen at this. Have we not all one father? Hath we not all one father? Hath not one God created us? Hath not one God created us? Hold it. The homosexual said, I agree with that, Pastor Jennings. He said, Hath not one God created us? Created. That include me. No, it don't. No, it don't. For now, I have to go to God's creation. Matthew chapter 19 and at verse 4. You see, I got to strike this out with Bible. That's right. That's right. Let's show you what God made. Matthew 19. What God made. That's right. Listen. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 4. Says what? And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read? Have you not read? That he. That God. Which made them at the beginning. Which made them. Them at the beginning. At the beginning. Made them male. Made them. Male and female. And transgender. Made them male. Then female. Have you not read that? Oh, wait, he wait, 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 wait. Hmm. And transgender somewhere in there? No, I don't, I don't see that word, Pastor. Amen. You better give chapter and verse and read it again. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read? Have you not read? That he. That he. Which made them. Which made them. At the beginning. In the beginning. Made them male. Made them male. And female. And female. Amen. So then, the male was Adam, the female was Eve. That's right. And if God made them at the beginning, That's right. to all homosexuals, who made you? Who made you? If you're a man, God made you a man. That's right. And God said, homosexuality doesn't start with your anatomy. No. Homosexuality start with the change of a mind. That's right. And the change of a heart. Let me strike this out with detail. Amen. First chapter of the book of Romans. In the book of Romans chapter 1. And we'll start reading. Change. Listen at the language yes. of what I'm saying. Yes. Change of mind and change of heart. If I'm a man. Then I am a product of the true creation of God. That's right. I am made in God's image. That's right. I am made in God likeness. That's right. So when God made man in his image and in his likeness, not only do we bear the shape of God, but he put his character within man. That's right. And the character of God within man bears the title he he that's right at the certify as i go down in the book of joshua chapter one we'll start at verse one says what and god said let us make man in, in our image let's make man in our image after our likeness after our likeness and god created man in his own god image. created man in his own image and God formed man from the ground took man from the ground and he blew into his nostrils blew the breath of life into his nostrils the breath of life and man and man became a man. living soul man yeah. not transgender no not homosexual no man man became a living soul right. so if man became a living soul where did the life of the homosexual begin? That's right. The God, I want to take a route that folks have never thought of. Yeah. If man became a living soul, and if Eve, the woman, was taken from man, from man. Mm -hmm. and the Lord said, then where mm -hmm. did the life 
of the homosexual begin. I can see where the woman came from. In, in the book of Joshua chapter 1. That's what? And verse 4. And the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Uh -huh. And he slept and he took away one of his ribs. He took away one of his ribs. And he built flesh upon he it. built flesh. Hmm. Glory to God upon that rib. And formed it. Formed it. And brought it to Adam. Brought it. Keep pointing to the rib. Brought it to Adam. And Adam awoke from his sleep. And what? And behold a woman was standing before him. All right. We done traced the origin of man. Where man come from. That's right. We done traced the origin of the female. That's right. Where she came from. Now we're going to trace mm -hmm. the origin of homosexuality and show you where it came from. That's right. That's right. You can't say God made you. No. I blast it to hell God knows. That's right. In the book of Romans but chapter 1. It did come from somewhere. Yeah. Listen. In the book of Romans chapter 1, we'll start at verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Now you got ungodly men. Know what's right. They of the devil. That's right. Full of hell. But the Bible speaks plain what they hold. For the wrath of God they is hold from heaven. The truth. Who hold the truth in, in unrighteousness. They hold the truth and they wrong while they're holding it. That's right. That means they know better. Right. Holding that truth and yet not implementing the truth they hold, then the truth condemns them. That's right. I want to soak you a little. Get this. Verse 19. Says what? Because that which may be known of that God. That which may be known of God. Is manifest in them. For God. Hold it. Mm -hmm. That which may be known which of God. Which may be known of God is seen in them. Is manifest is in them. Is seen in them. That's right. Because what? For God has showed it unto them. And yet they ungodly. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The mindset of the homosexual Listen to what I'm about to tell you now. I want to rattle your chain. The mindset, the spirit, the heart yes. of the homosexual came yes. from heaven. But it did not come from God. Glory to God. Let me repeat myself, I said. The mind, the heart, the character, the thinking of the homosexual came from heaven, but not from God. So I say, well, if it ain't come from God, who else was up there? The devil. That's right. The homosexual often say, I am confused. The spirit of confusion was put out, put out. from heaven. God said, I am not the author. Of I am not the originator of, conf of confusion. confusion. <laughs> Homosexual, young and old. I don't know what I want to be. That spirit came from heaven. That's right. But not from God. And the great dragon was cast out. Yes, son. Revelation chapter 12 and at verse 9. And homosexuality 
is one of the merchandise. That's right. That was put out. That's right. In the book of Ezekiel. That's right. It's one of the merchandise. Yes. Homosexual merchandise themselves. That's right. In the book they of Ezekiel. Advertise themselves. That's right. Let's get Bible for this. In Ezekiel chapter 28 and at verse 16. Follow me. We'll start at verse 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. Now. The Bible first established yes. Lucifer's character. That's right. Lucifer was not always the devil. That's right. Some folks say, I thought the devil always was. You're giving him too much credit and too much power. Yeah. The only one that always was is God. That's right. Lucifer is a created spirit. Mm -hmm. In the book of Hebrews is written, should we not rather be subject to the father or the creator of spirits and live? God say, I create good and I create what? Evil. So evil had a beginning. Someone said the good have a beginning? Yes, I know. Someone said, how can that be both? There's none good but one. And that one is God. So God don't have a beginning. But the good that is in the earth, that have a beginning. Yeah. It start as a seed. That's why God told Adam, touch not the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So that good had a beginning. But the one that made the tree, that good is eternal. That's right. Are you getting the old man? Amen. Listen. Ezekiel 28, we're at verse 14. That's what? Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Yes. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. This is Lucifer before evil took him over. That's right. Before he was transformed. Yeah. And that's what happened to anybody of the human family. When the spirit of hell get in him or uh her. -huh. There's a great transformation. That's right. Listen. At verse 15, thou was perfect in thy ways. God made Lucifer complete in his ways. From the day that thou was created. The day you were created. Till. Wait a, a minute. Pause. Till. Till. Iniquity. Sin. Was found. Evil. Wickedness was found. In thee. In thee. By the multitude of thy merchandise. Wait, 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 wait. I told you. That's right. By the multitude of thy merchandise. Of thine merchandise. They have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. The merchandise of Satan is the variations of the characteristics of Satan. That's right. The merchandise of Satan is the variations of the spirit of Satan. That's right. The merchandise of Satan is the variation of the mind of Satan. That's right. The merchandise of Satan is the variations of the emotions of Satan. That's right. Merchandise. Merchandise. His character, his actions, it's called merchandise. merchandise. And he distribute his character like product. That's right. And it takes over men and women all over the world. That's right. His character is in merchandise. merchandise. So, just like this homosexual rapper. The merchandise of Satan was in him. So now he want to create a product to advertise the merchandise of his heart and the merchandise of his mind because he's a son. That's right. Of a father. That's right. Not talking about earthly. The book says you are of your father, the devil. The devil. The devil. Ye are of Ye are your, your father. Listen, listen, listen. St. John chapter 8 and verse 44. Ye are of your father. Any of you rappers in California or any other part of the world don't like it? I would love to get you. You'd love to be on television anyway. 
Come on here. That's right. So I can give you a Bible beating. That's right. Many of you out there watching call me that old Bible thumper. Mm -hmm. What kind of man are you? My Lord. You entertain us. What kind of man are you? That you will let your son put on a dress and get a photo shoot and advertise them on some magazine. That's right. Do you love money that much that you will sell your son's dignity? That you will put your daughters in child pornography? That's right. Do you love money that much? You see, when you love money and hate God, you're starting to sell your soul. That's right. You see, to truly serve God, you have to give God your soul. Yeah. To truly serve Satan, you got to give Satan your soul. And just like God putting his people boldness to stand up for him. That's right. Satan put in his followers boldness oh, yeah. to stand up for him. First Kings chapter 21 and verse 25. But there was none like unto Ahab. There was none like Ahab. Which did sell himself. He sold himself to work wickedness to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord. Have you sold your soul to Satan? That's right. Ye are of your father. Ye are of your father the devil. Chapter and verse. St. John chapter 8 and verse 44. And what? Ye are of your father the devil and, and the lust of your father. The lust. The want. The appetite. Of your father. Of the devil. Ye will do. You parents. What motivates you to play this rap trash? Yeah. Foul mouth cussing rap trash. That's right. And then you want to chastise your son or daughter yeah. for disrespecting you verbally yeah. and disrespecting the mother? Mm -hmm. The music encourages disrespect. That's right. The music changed the ear and tame and trained to mind to think disrespectfully. For they went astray very far. Listen. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12 and verse 24. They went astray. Very far. Very far. In the ways of error. In the ways of error. And held them for gods. And held the error for what? For gods. They want that to be gods. Which even among the beasts even, of their enemies. Listen. Even among the beasts of, of their, their enemies, enemies were despised. Were despised. Being deceived. Being tricked. As children of no understanding. Your children don't know what the curse words are yet. But you see them saying them. Yeah. F you, mommy. Little five and four year old. Listen at the music in your house. And she walking around. I want to be your hoe. I want to be your hoe. That's right. I, I'm a hoe, mommy. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. And you sick, so-called Christian parents. Yeah. Who said, that's cute. What's the matter that's, with you? That's right. Your five-year-old wants to be a hoe. My Lord. I want to say, you shouldn't say that. Give me the book of Leviticus quick book, now. Book of Leviticus. The Bible said, do not prostitute thine daughter. That's right. And cause her to be a whore. That's right. That's written. That's right. Do not. In the book of Leviticus chapter 19. Come on, son. Leviticus chapter 19 and at verse 28. Read quick. 
Leviticus 19 and verse 20. What is it? Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Yes. Nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Do not prostitute thy daughter. They complain about my mouth. Yeah. Too vulgar. Yeah. Yet it's amazing how you say my frank talking, my direct, bold preaching is too vulgar, but your music isn't. That's right. You complain about my bold, frank talking. It's too in your face, but your music isn't. You are a hypocrite. That's right. Did you hear what I'm telling you? Amen. Listen at this. Leviticus 19 and verse 29. Says what? Do not prostitute thy daughter. Do not prostitute thy daughter to and cause to her cause her to be a whore. Is it written? Amen. Is it written, I say? Yeah. Folks write me, you call people whore and things? <laughs> well, if you ain't one, why are you offended? That's right. Your little daughter want to be a whore. That's right. Your little daughter want to twerk. Yeah. Mm. You right. mothers put on your daughter's tank tops. That's right. And send them out in public yeah. around a bunch of grown buzzards. That's right. That are pedophiles and perverts. So you sit your children in front of rap videos That's right. that exploit our women. That's right. White women, black women, Asian women, Spanish women yeah. of all colors. Oh. Half naked, yeah. shaking your behind. But if it brings money, they don't mind. That's right. So your daughter see some female rapper who rap about men body parts yeah. and then rap about her personal body parts yeah. and put it all in the rap. Yeah. Notice how sick and barbaric, mm. the more it is in society, the more they love it. That's right. So your little daughter will sit and look at that rapper I want to be like that, mommy. Merchandise, subtle. Commercials are used to lure your children into homosexuality. That's right. They got children programs. Homosexual now. When I came up, we watched Sesame Street. All we knew that Ernie and Bert was roommates. But they were straight Muppets. Yeah. Amen. When I came up, Ernie and Bert were straight Muppets. Yeah. Now Sesame Street twist. Yeah. And they made Ernie and Bert homosexuals. That's right. When I came up, we read the story, Ugly Duckling. This is a form of merchandising. merchandise. They changed it, and HBO came out with the homosexual duckling. My Lord. HBO, hell box observation. Amen. You see, you preachers don't preach nothing. No. Yes, we preach Jesus and him crucified. But the Bible says in the book of Acts, the apostles was in prison for preaching the name Jesus. And they were told that did we not straightly command you not to preach in that name? They threw them in prison and the angel of the Lord came and freed them and then charged them to go and stand. Listen at this. Acts chapter 5 and at verse 20. Go and stand. And speak. Speak. In the temple. In the temple. To the people. To the people. All the words of this life. Tell them how much? All the words of this life. That, ain't, that get everything. Everything. Covers everything. Everything. 
You got to find out what to send you to hell. You got to find out what to keep you out of heaven. That's right. Merchandise. By the multitude of thy merchandise. What is it? They have filled the midst of thee with violence. Now, let's get back to the change, the origin yes. of homosexuality. Back in Romans. It came from heaven, mm -hmm. but not from God. That's right. What do you mean? The spirit of Satan, the mindset of Satan, was to alter Change. Change. That's right. Change. Change the truth yeah. of God. Anything mm -hmm. that God established. That's right. That's why war broke out in heaven. That's right. War broke out in heaven because a corruptible mind entered into Lucifer. That's right. Lucifer was upright. Until the Bible says, "Thou was perfect in thy ways." You perfect in thine ways from the day that thou was made. That was made till, till iniquity sin was found in thee. Was found in thee by the multitude, by of, the thy multitude of thy merchandise. They have filled the midst of thee with filled violence. Filled the midst of thee with what? With violence. Violence. And thou hast sinned. When the merchandise got in them, yeah. the multiple, multiple, multiple. Colonel thoughts. They have filled the midst it of the with violence. The colonel mind That's right. came from heaven. Yeah. I thought the colonel mind is of the flesh. The colonel mind had to come from somewhere to get in the flesh. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. The colonel mind was put out. Put out. Wickedness was put out of heaven. Yeah. Sin was put out of heaven. The contrary thought that go against God's creation, man and woman, yeah. that thought con contrary to that was put out of heaven. That's right. Because all of that was the merchandise. merchandise. Anything, whether it was thought or feeling, that was designed to change truth. Did you hear what I said? That's right. Anything. Anything. That were designed to change God's truth. Truth. Was put out of heaven. That's right. First chapter of the book of Romans now. Now the book of Romans chapter 1, we're at verse 24. All right. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own God heart. God gave them up. Amen. To, to uncleanness, uncleanness through the, the lust of their desire own hearts, of their own emotions. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Hold it. If same-sex marriages was not a sin, yeah. it would be impossible to dishonor your own body, your own body. between themselves. That's right. When I'm with my wife, that's honorable. That's honorable. Don't bother me. Don't say nothing. Don't even peep around the corner. Marriage is honorable in all. Wait a minute. It says what? In Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4, marriage is honorable in all. Amen. But yet what did Romans say? Who changed the truth of God into a lie to dishonor their own body. They dishonor? Dishonor their own body. But what did Paul say? Marriage is honorable in all. Now I got to come between both scriptures yeah. and focus on the word honor. Honor. And honorable. That's right. Because there's a homosexual look at that. Well, that's why we got married, Pastor Jennings, because the Bible said marriage is honorable in all. Oh. No. <laughs> marriage is honorable in all what? That's right. Marriage is honorable in all what? In all what? Question is, who established the law of marriage? In the book of Matthew chapter 19, we'll start at verse 4. Says what? And he answered and said unto them, have you not read? Did you not read? That he which made them at the beginning made them male, male and, and female, female. And said, for this cause, for this cause shall, a man shall a man leave father and, leave mother, father and mother and shall cleave to his wife. That's what's honorable in all. That's right. When a man and woman get married, that's honorable. You right. judges. Yeah. You politicians. You lawyers. You Democrats. Biden lovers. Mm. 
Harris lovers. Wait. That fight for same sex marriages under the heading of Christianity. You are a bunch of Bible carrying church going sinners. That's right. Christ and same sex marriage ain't got nothing in common. No. Here, here, here the old troublemaker now. Any preacher, any politician, any governor, any lawyer, any mayor. Well, what to you, here, lawyers? Any queen. That's right. Any king. Any apostle, any prophet, any elder, any bishop, any priest, including the Pope of Rome. That's right. That uphold same sex marriages. You're not a Christian. No. You are an abomination. That's right. You are a sinner. Yeah. And you're on your way to hell. That's right. Any form of merchandise yeah. that's designed to change, change. God's truth yeah. is the mindset of Satan. That's right. And it was put, put out. out. It came to the earth. That's right. So the apostle let out a plea. That's right. Why? Yes, oh, the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. In Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Do you listen? Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in heaven. Rejoice! Him. Hold it, hold it, hold it. There was a time that heaven was all messed up. That's right. Heaven was unclean. That's right. Someone said, I thought heaven was always clean, even when the devil was there. Job 15, 15, then go back to Revelation. Yes. Stay ahead of me now and hear me and follow me. That's right. I said, heaven was unclean. That's right. The devil was in heaven. Yeah. Sin was in heaven. Yeah. Wickedness was in heaven. Yeah. Stubbornness was in heaven. The kernel mind was in heaven. That's right. The powers of the devil was in heaven. Job chapter 15 and verse 15. Tell you what? Behold, he put us no trust. I'm taking this route to show you the status of heaven. Yeah. And after I show you the status of heaven, I want to show you cause and effect. That's right. From there, 14th chapter book of Isaiah mm -hmm. is cause, then the book of Revelation, effect. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I want to lay a paper trail here. Amen. Follow me. Job 15 and verse 15. What is it? Behold, he put no trust. He put no trust. In his saints. In his saints. Yea, the heaven. What? Yea, the heavens. Spell that. H-E-A-V-E-N-S. All of them. Hmm. See, most folks didn't see that. They just think heaven heavens. was unclean. No. Yea, the heavens. Every atmospheric condition yeah. was dirty. My Lord, my Lord. All the heavens. All the heavens. That God created. Amen. Was contaminated. Yea, the heavens. Pollution. Amen. Condemned. That's right. Wrong. Yeah. Sin infiltrated the holy places. The Bible speaks plain. Yea, the heavens. The what? The heavens. The heavens. Are not clean. Are dirty. In his sight. And God eyes. That's right. Now, 14th chapter the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 14, we'll start at verse 12. And let's read what triggered and what brought in yeah. the dirt. That's right. That's right. Isaiah 14, we'll start at verse 12. Follow me and get me. How art thou fallen from heaven? You see, how art thou fallen from heaven? Oh, Lucifer. A homosexual is a fallen man. Yeah. A lesbian is a fallen woman. That's right. What do you mean? They fall from their original state. And when you fall from your original state, while you're down there, another spirit take you over. Yeah. And when another spirit take you over, it rearrange That's right. your thought and rearrange heart. That's right. It rearrange 
mind, it rearranged heart. Yeah. If you rearrange a person's mind, and if you rearrange their heart, their body have been re redone. That's right. The body act out what the mind think, and the body act out what the heart feels. Are right, you listening? Amen. I want to take my time and itemize this. Yeah. Heaven, unclean. Unclean. Heaven, filthy. Heaven, dirty. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Was it homosexuals in heaven? No. Sin was there. That's right. And when sin was put out, all unrighteousness is sin. So whether it be the love for liquor, fornication, adultery, homosexuality, same-sex marriages, mm -hmm. female abuse, yeah. rape, yeah. murder, yeah. all that come under merchandise. By the multitude of thy merchandise. Wait a minute. One merchandise. By the multitude of thy merchandise. One merchandise. By the multitude of thy merchandise. One merchandise. By the multitude of thy merchandise. They have filled the midst of thee with violence. It filled Lucifer. That's right. Why did he become violent? Because he become a fighter for his merchandise. That's right. He became violent over his merchandise yep. because he wanted to push his agenda in heaven. That's right. And God wasn't going to have it. That's right. That's right. Now let's get Satan's thought pattern. Back in Isaiah chapter 14. That made heaven dirty. That's right. You see, you're dirty before you do the dirt. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Right. Oh, you are dirty before yeah. you act out the dirt. That's right. Is that Bible? Yes. The word of God said the very thought, thought of, foolishness of foolishness is sin. Is sin. It's sin. That's why there was a recommendation to the Apostle Paul from God, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus, That's right. who being in the form of God, thought on that robbery to be equal with God. That's, right. That's why when you pray, beg God Hallelujah. to give you the mind of Christ. Heaven is dirty. Dirty. That's right. Let's see what brought in the dirt. Isaiah 14, we're still at verse 12. Listen. How about the chapter and verse? Isaiah chapter 14, we're at verse 12. All right. How art thou fallen from heaven, O How Lucifer? How art thou fallen from your holy place, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground? Son of the morning. Spell son. S O N. So that means he got a father. That's right. That don't mean he was begotten. And he wasn't called the son of God. No, no. He was called son of the morning. Son of the morning. What do you mean, son? There's only one creator. In God Hebrews, said, I create good, I create evil. Right. Real quick. Hebrews chapter 12, we're at verse 9. That's what? And we, shall we not much rather. Shall we not rather. Be in subjection. Be in subjection. Unto the Father of unto spirits. Unto the God of spirits. And live. You see, God made every spirit. That's right. He's called son of the morning. Of the morning. Morning do not start with light. That's right. Morning started with darkness. That's right. It is written how Jesus rose early in the morning yes. while it was yet what? Dark. If you understand the process of morning, you will understand the process of your development. That's right. Let me say it again. If you understand the process of morning, you will understand the process of your development. Morning start with darkness. You start in the darkness. The darkness in the womb of the mother. And you come out from inner darkness to outer darkness because you're still in sin. Gradually, darkness separates as light elevates. That's right. Gradually, darkness, ignorance, blindness separate from you when light shine into your mind. Right. It is written, light 
shine in the darkness, and the darkness comprehendeth it not. The separation of the moon and the sun represent the separation of two minds. The sun is called greater light. The moon is called lesser light. If I got the mind of God, I got greater light. If I'm a sinner, I have lesser light. Mean I have a lesser mind to walk with the most high. That's why the moon rules the night. He that love darkness because their deeds are evil. Even though the light of the moon is not more powerful than the light of the sun, it's still light. The power of God is more stronger than the power of Satan. But even Satan is a form of light. That's right. Book of Corinthians, quickly now. In the book of 2 Corinthians. Chapter 11 and at verse 13. That's what? For such are false apostles, deceitful such are workers. Such are false representatives, deceitful workers. Transforming themselves, Transforming themselves into, into the, the apostles, apostles of, Christ. of Christ. And no more. Don't you be surprised for, about the false prophets. For Satan himself. Who? Satan himself. Who? Satan himself. What does Satan appearance is? Is transformed into an angel of light. Homosexuality. Are uh, you listening to the language? Yes. Yeah. Transform. 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 Transgender. That's right. Transform. Transgender. That's right. Are you getting me? Amen. Transform. Transform. Transgender. Yeah. Satan is transformed into an angel of light. Into an angel of light, but he's not an angel of light. A man is transformed into a woman, but he is not a woman. That's right. He know he can't say he's a woman. So the devil gave them a label. Transgender. Gender. Something that been transformed. transformed. Right. To make it look right. Yeah. To make it look godly. That's right. When I married a woman, I married a real woman. Right. I didn't marry nothing that was trans. That's right. That's right. Trans is not real. Amen. Just like Satan is transformed into an angel of light, he is not an angel of light. That's right. He is artificial light. The light in this building is not real light. It is transformed. Mm. It is artificial light. The sun that shine in the heavens, that's real light. That's real light. Do you get me? Yeah. Heavens dirty. dirty. Are you getting this? Yes. Heavens unclean. Unclean. Let's get the mindset of Lucifer. Back I, in the 14th chapter of Isaiah. Back in Isaiah chapter 14, we're at verse 12. Everybody all right? I hope you can get this. You want to detail and strip it down like fractions, break it to the lowest common denominator. Amen. So we can give you the answer of it. That's right. All right. Isaiah 14, we're at verse 12. What is it? How art thou fallen from heaven, O How Lucifer? How art thou fallen from heaven? Son of the morning. Son of the morning. How art right, thou cut? of the morning. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Light, darkness gradually go away, and light come. Yeah. So the falling of Satan, and you know when morning start, that means, well, it's a new time. New, time. new day. Yep. The falling of Satan brought about a new time, new time. a new day, yeah. a new era. Yeah. Yeah. The introduction of thoughts you never had, the introduction of feelings you never had. Mm -hmm. Vain imagination was introduced. Yeah. Yeah. But it, he's called son of the morning, of the morning because that sinful thought is darkness. Yeah. But if it reaches peak, you will acknowledge it as light. That's right. Meaning you will embrace it and accept it and call wrong 
right. right. And right. then you will come and display your darkness Amen. and flaunt it with the actions of light. Well, meaning, yeah, mm -hmm. meaning not mining to be seen. That's right. Listen. Isaiah chapter 5, read verse 20. That's what? Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil. What's so good about the pentagram? Now listen. The pentagram is a circle with a star in it. It's not a sin to have a circle. It ain't a sin to have a star. But the devil hijacked shape. Yeah. yeah. People criticized me when they heard me say, we want to build an international headquarters temple one day, uh, size of, style of a pyramid. There is one person said on Pastor Jenny, no, pyramid represent the devil. Oh, really? Look at the mountains. They're the, the pyramid is shaped like the mountains. That's right. That's right. That shape came from God. Yeah. It's what you do with that shape. Yeah. That's right. God tell the angels, stand on the four corners. Four corners of the earth. Of the earth. Don't the earth. let the wind blow. That's right. You take four corners, you make a square. Square. Ain't nothing wrong with the square. But you can take that shape of a square and use it for satanic purposes. That's right. You know, like the messianic initiation. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? So nothing wrong with shapes. That's right. Satan has changed or used the everyday shapes that God made in the universe. Made. And then man out of his ignorance say, that's satanic. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let me give you one great example. The swastika. If you know anything about World War II in Germany, Germany was known for the swastika. Looked like a cross that was broken on each end. Before there was a Hitler, there were swastikas. Not in Germany. The origin of the swastika came from the Middle East. Today, in China, in Budapest, in Korea, you will see the swastika. It was and still is over there a symbol of peace. Hmm. But Hitler hijacked the shape yeah. and used it to represent his bigot Nazi party. Yeah. All right, look at the cross. Yeah. Mm. They got crosses in the church. In the church of Satan, they used the cross. That's right. But they turned it upside down. Yeah. To a little like an upside down lower T. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the rainbow that God showed in the heavens that everybody will remember the day he destroyed the world in the days of Noah. The homosexual hijacked the rainbow and made it a symbol of homosexuality. Yeah. But when God says he show it, it's a reminder that I will no longer destroy the world with water. That's he right. wants you to remember what he done. What he done. And back then what he done for you to get right or get rescued or be saved, you had to come in the ark or he washed you away. That's right. Are you getting the old man? That's right. All right, Isaiah, quickly, son. Back in Isaiah 14 and verse 12. Heaven was dirty. Let's how, get the calls. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son, heaven, of o Lucifer the morning. son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did is weaken the nations? You cut down and you made the nations weak. Weak. You see, if you get a nation that bow to God, that nation will be strong. That's right. But when you leave God and something pull you away from God, then that nation become weak. Weaken. But uh -huh. right. so thou hast said in thine heart. Now. This is the expressions of the emotions, the feelings of Satan. That's right. First, the prophet, by God's permission, mm -hmm. tell you he was put out. Put out. 
But then God makes the prophet back up yeah. and give us the reason for him being put out. That's right. For thou hast said in thine heart. Hold it. Amen. Why the heart? Because the heart is the most deceitful thing and That's desperately right. wicked. So Satan became desperate in his emotions. Yeah. And when you are desperate, you are doing anything right. to accomplish your agenda. That's right. Thou has said in thy heart, I and agree. the heart mm -hmm. is desperate. desperate. So this calls for desperate measures. That's right. And but thou has said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. Desperation. Pride, arrogance, arrogance, love for power, greed for authority. That's right. Well, for me to get what I want, I got to go higher. Yeah. That's what it is in my eye. For, that's, that's the devil. Yeah. For me to get what I want, I got to go higher. <laughs> thou said in thy heart, I will ascend into I'm heaven. I'm going into heaven. I will exalt my throne. I, I'm going to be exalted. I'm not going to exalt my throne. Above the stars of God. I'm going to exalt my authority. Yeah. The Bible ain't never said Satan or Lucifer was the acquired director of heaven. That's no. an old historical myth. That's right. That's right. You liar. That's right. The Bible ain't never said Satan direct the heavenly choir. Liar. That's a lie. No time. No time. Mm -hmm. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I said, wait a minute, Pastor. You know, I thought I read somewhere where Lucifer had golden pipes. Golden pipes. You better shift gears real quick now. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28 and verse 13. Let me 13. explain that. Amen. Come on, son. Ezekiel 28 and verse 13. What is it? Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. You've been in Eden, God's garden. Every precious stone was thy covering. Yes. The sardius, topaz, and the diamond. What is it? The beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the cardamom. Uh -huh. And gold, the workmanship of thy tablets and of thy pipes, was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. The day God made them, it was prepared in thee. Mm -hmm. Wasn't talking about a pipe organ. Wasn't well, talk about him singing. No. The pipes of a man, the pipes of a woman is the voice of the man and the voice of the woman. That's right. And the reason why it was called golden pipes, because his speech was precious, because when God made him, he had precious speech or whatever came out of his mouth were holy. Mm. And when iniquity was found in him, found in his him. pipes changed. That's right. Right. In other words, rust set in the pipes. Yeah. And his speech changed. Yeah. His voice now became a voice of corruption, right. arrogant, high-mindedness. Thine heart was lifted up. What? In the book of Ezekiel chapter 28 and verse 17. Thine heart was lifted up. You get an uplifted heart, you get an uplifted voice. That's right. So I said, prove it. Out of the abundance of the heart, heart. the mouth speaketh. That's right. Are oh, you listening to what I'm telling you? Thine heart was lifted up. Thine heart was lifted up. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Most High. Amen. Thine heart was lifted up. Was exalted. Because of thy beauty. Because of thine beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom. You was arrogant. By reason of thy brightness. You was arrogant. That's right. Your beauty. That's right. Your conceitment, yeah. your high-mindedness. That's right. Think you're better than. Yeah. Thinking you was more deserving of. That's right. I want to say, how was that? You ain't gonna fight for power unless you dissatisfied of the power you have. That's right. And what bring about that fight for power? You feel as though you're more deserving than the one that got the power. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. What is it? Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. Thou hast corrupt. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. So now he no longer had the wisdom of the angels. That's right. He's brought down to the wisdom of the beast. That's right. And his wisdom is transformed to subtlety. That's right. For now he become more subtle than any beast of the field. Yeah. To the degree he's called old serpent, old serpent. master of deception, master of trickery. Yeah. He ain't just called serpent. 
old oh, serpent. serpent. Old means you've been around. Oh yeah. Long time. Long time. Until you have mastered your craft. That's right. You have mastered your skill. You have mastered your talent. Yeah. Be it good or bad. Or bad. Listen. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. And thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by, yes. by reason of thy brightness. Now, in the, back in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 13. Everybody all right? I, I hope you're getting this. Amen. Listen. For thou hast said in thine heart, Real quick. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Uh -huh. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation what else? in the sides of the north. Uh -huh. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I'm going above the heights of the clouds. I Wait will. Wait a minute. If I go above the heights of the clouds, where is that going to take me? I will be like the most high. Now, I will be like, hold it, I will exalt mm -hmm. myself like above the stars of God. Read it, read it, read it. For thy ascend in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. And what? I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. <laughs> Amen. Stars of, of God is God's creation. So I'm going to exalt myself mm -hmm. above anything that's created. I will be like the most high. I'm going from creation to creator. Mm. I'm going to be above, above anything he created. Wow. Because if I want to be like the most high, I want to be a creator. That's right. Like you. Mm. I want angels to bow to me. Yeah. I want my own world that I can make my footstool. Mm. I want things to be subservient to me. Mm. I want to be called king. I want to be called prince. I want power. I want authority. That's right. What are you willing to do, devil? Book of Revelation. Back in Revelation chapter 12 and at verse 7. What are you willing to do to get this power? And there was war in heaven. Glory to God. <laughs> you see how the Bible just breaks it down step by step? Yeah. Heaven unclean. Unclean. It was the thoughts that we read in Isaiah that brought about the uncleanness. Yep. And he was so determined to get his agenda over because he had merchandise to get out. Merchandise. As a result of it, what happened? And there was war in heaven. War is the conflict of two ideas. That's right. It's a conflict of two standards. That's right. It's the conflict of two minds. One want to take over your territory and change it and want the territory to be the way he want. That's right. Satan don't want the territory of heaven to reflect his character yeah. because heaven already reflect the character of God. Yeah. Satan don't want darkness to rule. That's right. It is God's will that light rule. Listen. Uh, in Revelation 12 and verse 7, and there was war in heaven. Conflict in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. You know, God had warriors. Yeah. You know, God got angels to handle business. <laughs> That's right. Eh? That's right. God got angels yeah. to handle business. That's right. God can send angels and bring you a message. Yeah. God can send angels and give them charge to kill you. That's God right. can send an angel and make them tear down an entire city, a whole town. Yeah. God can send an angel and make him an angel of judgment. Mm -hmm. God can send an angel to warn you. That's right. In this case, God had warriors. Warriors. Yes. Michael and his angels, whom the Jehovah Witness called Jesus and said they're the same, you old liar. That's a lie. Michael is called Archangel. Archangel. Meaning chief angel. That's right. He was his chief warrior. Yeah. That's why, you know, uh, when you name a platoon, you may name the captain first and the platoon afterward. That's right. It says Michael. Michael and his angels. His. His That let you know Michael had angels following him. Mm. He had authority. 
Focused on the language of the book now. And there was war in heaven. There was war in heaven. Michael. Michael. And his angels. And his angels. They let you know he had charge over some angels there. That's right. What was it? Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. They fought. Fought. You know, it's good to have someone that can fight the devil. That's right. And it's better when you don't have to fight them by yourself. Oh, yeah. Michael. Michael and his angels. And his angels. Fought, fought against the dragon. Against the dragon. And the dragon fought. And hold it. No, the dragon just laid down and gave up. And the dragon fought. Devil don't go down without a fight. No, no. You know, when you love something and want it bad enough, you'll fight for it. That's right. The devil refused to go down without a fight because he had a love for power. That's right. And that love make that lust for it kick in. Yeah. And he will fight yeah. and keep fighting. Mm. Listen. And the dragon fought and his angels. Why is Satan called a dragon? That's the violence that's in him. Mm. That's the viciousness that's in him. Yeah. That's the cruelty that is in him. Yeah. Eh? And the dragon fought and his angels. And what? And prevailed not. Didn't win. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. That means no room for repentance. That's right. Their place was not found anymore. Anymore. That means they can't be saved. No room for redemption. No room for repentance. Out. Never come back. Mm. Are you listening? My Lord. So when that came from heaven, now he comes to the earth. To the earth. And when God put the apostle in the spirit, mm -hmm. give me the book of Revelation. Revelation 12 and verse 12. When the apostle John, I believe the brother of James, the son of Zebedee, yeah. by the spirit saw the angel fall from heaven. Yeah. What was John the apostle respond? Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. You better back up. I want to get woe. Yes, that's verse 12. All right, let's read on. Uh, therefore rejoice ye heavens. Rejoice ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them. Why? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. You see, while the devil was in there, they couldn't rejoice. That's right. They couldn't even sing. That's right. Is that Bible? Yeah, if you go up, the Bible said they sung a new song. New song, that's right. Didn't it say so? And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven. What? Now is come salvation. Oh. Give chapter and verse. Revelation chapter 12, we're at verse 10. You know, you can be so messed up and so in such a spiritual slump and the devil have you so bad, yeah, you can't feel no joy whatsoever. That's true. There was a time that heaven was in ruins. Ruins. It was in a mess. Yeah. Conflict. Bless God, the moment the devil was put out, now what? And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, What? Now is come salvation. Wait a minute. Now. Now. Oh, we happy now. Yeah. Everything is all right now. That's right. We got deliverance now. We got some relief now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now is come salvation and strength. Strength. And the kingdom of our God. Strength. That lets you know Satan can weaken things. Strength came. Strength. Uh -huh. And the kingdom of our God. Kingdom of our God. And the power of his Christ. Yes. For the accuser of our brethren is the cast down. The accuser of our brethren. Is cast down. Is cast down. Which accused them before our God day and night. What is it? And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. And by the word of their testimony. And, and what did John say? Therefore rejoice ye heaven. Rejoice heaven. And ye that dwell in them. Why? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. What happened? For the devil has come down unto you. Amen. The devil has come down unto you. Having great wrath. He's mad. Because he knoweth. He's angry. That's right. Why is Satan so bitter? Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He knoweth. Being that Satan know. His end is at hand. Give me the book of Revelation. Let's see what God going to do to him. Do to him. That's right. I got to itemize all of this. I got to show you how Satan going to be arrested. That's right. And then how he going to be freed for a little while. Yeah. Revelation. And then later on, arrested again. That's right. Glory to God. All right. Revelation. I told, I, I told you how God have angels to do things. That's right. Glory be yes, to God. Yes, you did. 
All right. Revelation chapter 20, we'll start at verse 1. That's what? And I saw an, an angel come down I from heaven. I saw an angel. Come down from heaven. Who will take God come down from heaven? Having the key of the bottomless pit and a great they chain. They got the key mm -hmm. to the bottomless pit. Got the keys of hell. Mm. That lets you know the key represents authority. So the angel had the authority of God. That's right. To bind and to loose. That's right. That same authority is given to the apostle. Wow. Whatsoever wow. thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. That's right. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth. So I said, well, that's given to an angel. That's right. What you think an apostle is. That's right. There are angels of earth and there are angels from heaven. That's right. Glory to God. Huh? The Bible talk about the angels of earth and tell you that you can you may attain angels. Unawares. Unaware. Don't know. Angel mean messenger. Yeah. Now, one class of messengers is sent and given revelation. The other class of, of, of messengers is created without revelation. Book of Peter. Yes. Let's see how the angel desired this knowledge. And the book of 1 Peter chapter 1. And then give me the book of uh, Joshua. Yeah. Let me show you how the angel of man, earth, can have such knowledge until the angels of heaven desire man can come up and teach them. That's right. Glory to God. That's I hope right. you can get this. That's right. Glory to God. Come on, son. First Peter chapter 1, right, verse 12. What do I say? Unto whom it was revealed. Unto whom it was revealed. That not unto themselves. But not unto themselves. But unto us they did minister the things. They did minister the things. Which are now reported unto you by which them that have preached the gospel. Unto you. You see, the apostles preached the gospel. Unto you. Unto you. With the Holy Ghost sent down from the heaven. The apostles is filled with the Holy Ghost. That's right. That comes from heaven. Which things the angels. Which things the angels. Desire to look into. They desired to look into it. That's right. God didn't send the angel to preach repentance. God didn't send the angels to explain and break down or open up the Godhead. God didn't send the angel to teach you about speaking in tongue. He gave that to men. Yeah. That's why in the first chapter of Revelations, there were seven golden candlesticks, and in the right hand of God were seven stars. The seven stars were the seven angels, or the seven messengers, or the seven preachers sent to the seven golden candlesticks which are the seven churches of Asia. That's right. That's right. Now let's show you man. Now the Angel. Yes. Knowledge. Yes. Revelation. Understanding uh, how the angels want them to come up. That's right. And hang out with them. That's right. And teach them. That's right. Two class of angels. Yeah. One created holy. One have to learn to be holy. Mm. One born of a woman, one have no mother. Yeah. But both have the same father. That's right. Have we not all one father? Have not one God? Who will take God created us? Are you getting this information here? Amen. Come on, son. Joshua chapter 3, right, verse 23. That's what? And then sometimes after, when the kings and princes and the sons of men. You know, most people, the only thing they know about Enoch is what they read in Hebrews. Yeah. The Enoch said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And he that come to God must believe that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Outside of that, folk don't know nothing else about Enoch's greatness. No. Let me show you how great and powerful he was. Then we'll get back to where we were. Read fast. Joshua chapter 3 and at verse 23. What is it? And then sometime after when the kings and princes and the sons of men were speaking to Enoch. Yes. And Enoch was teaching them the ways of God. That's what I'm doing by God's permission. That's right. I'm determined to teach you God's way. That's right. When you learn God's way, your life got to revolve around God's ways. Yeah. And then the ways of God will be manifested in you. And that way, when people see you, they see God. That's right. They see God in you, in you. by your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it's meant. Ye are gods. gods. Not that you're equal to the most high, yeah. but the book of Psalms says ye are gods. Are gods. But you shall die like men. That's right. That lets you know you ain't equal to God because God cannot be killed. Right. Someone says Jesus died, that's right, but God didn't die. Yeah. 
Well, you preach Jesus Christ is God. Yes, I do. But the body was not God. The spirit that was in that body, that was God. And God is not a prince. That's right. A prince is lower than a king. Yeah. And the Bible said they have killed the prince of life. Prince of life. Prince of what life? The prince of the natural life. That's right. The prince of the natural life of the Son of God, Christ Jesus, who had the title king, but had the king in him. That's right. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. What is it now? Chapter, chapter 3 and verse 23. All right. And then sometime after when the kings and princes and the sons of men yes. were speaking to Enoch, and Enoch was teaching them the ways of God. Teaching them God ways. Behold, an angel of the Lord. An angel of the Lord. Then called unto Enoch called from heaven. Called to Enoch. From heaven. From heaven. And wished to bring and him up. And wish to bring Enoch up. And wish to bring him up to heaven. Bring him up to heaven. To make him reign there. To make him reign there. Over the sons of over God. Over the sons of God. As he had reigned. As he had reigned. Over the sons of men upon earth. The angels wanted Enoch to come on up there and rule over them. Because Enoch had information they didn't have. I've been required to ascend into heaven. Do you hear this? In Joshua 3 and verse 24. Enoch said. I have been required. Oh, I've been asked. To ascend into to heaven. To go to heaven. I oh, thank God. My Lord. Ah! Amen. Someone said, Pastor Jennings, you see, I don't believe in those looks, lost books because the Bible said no man have to send up in heaven at any time. So how can Enoch say, I, I, I was asked to go to heaven. Well, that's right. Yeah. And no man did go in. But Enoch went in. Yeah. But no man went in. Okay. But Enoch went in. Yeah. But no man went in. Yeah. But Enoch went in. Yeah. But Enoch went in. Yeah. See, God didn't want no man in there. Yeah. No natural man. No flesh and blood. But to take him up higher, he had to translate him. Translate him. And when he translated him, the name Enoch was given to his flesh. But when he was translated, that lets you know the spirit take on the same name that your flesh has. That's right. That's why I say Enoch was translated Thanks, and he ascended. That's right. But the man didn't go. Yeah. Why? Flesh and blood cannot inherit. That's right. The kingdom of God. That's right. So he changed from mortal to immortality. That's right. But kept the mortal shape yeah. and the mortal form yeah. and the earthly mortal name. That's right. Enoch. Enoch. Are you getting me? Yeah. Listen. Behold, an angel of the Lord then called unto Enoch from heaven. And what? And wished to bring him up to wished heaven. To bring him up to heaven. To, to make him reign there make over the sons of God. The sons of God as make he had, or make him reign over the angels. That's right. As he did on the earth. All that's right, right, you better go back to where you were now. Back in Revelation chapter 20. And no, I, I want the book of uh, Romans chapter 1. I got to finish up the merchandise and the changing of the mind. Yes. All right, I showed you how heaven was dirty. I showed you what brought about the dirt was the thoughts of Satan, the 14th chapter of the book of Isaiah. And as a result of those dirty, filthy, rotten, no good, hell deserving thoughts, Satan was put out. And when Satan was put out, you find the apostles yelling, Woe unto the happiness of the earth. And then when Satan, when the apostles saw the impact that would happen to the earth, and then after he was put out, heaven began to get restored, and they was able to sing a new song. Yeah. Blessed be the name of God. Now, Satan on earth now have a new title. That's right. Before you read uh, where you are, give me 2 Corinthians yeah. chapter, four, chapter 4, and I believe verse 3. Mm -hmm. Now he gets a new title. That's right. When he come to the earth, now he has a title that he never had in heaven. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? 2 Corinthians chapter 4 was thought, start at verse 3. All right. But if our gospel be hid, it is... If hid our gospel be hid, don't be known. It is hid to them that are lost. It is hid to them that's going to hell. In whom the God of this world... What is the devil called now? The God of this world. Since he come here, what is he called? The God of this world. And what did he do to those that are here? Hath blinded the mind... Wait a minute. He blind what part? Hath the, hath blinded the mind. He blind what part? The mind. He blind what part? The mind. And what bring about the successfulness of that blindness? Of them which believe not. When you are an unbeliever, unbeliever, he gets your mind. That's right. That's why you're a homosexual. That's right. Blinded the your mind. Your mind is blinded Blind. to your manhood. That's right. 
That's why you're a lesbian. Yeah. Your mind is blinded to your womanhood. That's right. The blindness of the mind is to get you to shut out and be closed minded to the reality of the truth of the fact of what you are. That's right. Blinding of the mind, mind. is changing of the thought. Yeah. First chapter of the book of Romans. Yes, back in Romans chapter 1, and now we're at verse 22. Follow me quickly now. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Oh, you think you wise, flaunting your little narrow hips, hmm. mister. That's right. That's right. This is detailed gospel. Yes, it is. So the Democrats and many Republicans too. That's right. Religion. Yes, sir. Flying their rainbow flags. Yeah. Creation has become so saturated with this sickness, satanic sickness. Yeah. Until they're willing to pass, look, gay rights law passed quicker than a black man can get a job. That's true. People of color been marching for years, That's true. holding the same signs. That's true. Same signs you holding in the 21st century. You help in the 20th, 20th century. 20th. That's true. And then the homosexual try to say, we know what it's like. We can identify with the struggle of black. That's insulting, you liar. That's right. That's right. Gay rights is simply homosexual acceptance. Yeah. What are they accepting, fighting to be accepted for? They want their behavior to be accepted yeah. equally, like a man and a woman get married. They want their marriage to be accepted. accepted. Well, if it's accepted, you can't even use the same language. That's right. When I marry a man and woman, I pronounce them man and wife. What am I going to pronounce you? That's right. Hell and hellion. Hell and hellion. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Two men can't make babies? No. Am I right? That's right. Two women can't make babies. No. The marriage of two men, the marriage of two women is not a marriage. Not a marriage. It's artificial. And it's the, fake. Yeah. It's fraud. It's the mockery of marriage. That's right. In the book of Tibet, chapter 8 and verse 6. Tibet. Chapter, chapter eight, 8 and verse 6. Verse 6. Thou madest Adam. You made Adam. And gave us him Eve. And gave him Eve. His wife. His wife. For an helper and stay. For a helper and stay. Of them. Of them. Came mankind. Of them. Of them. Adam and Eve. That's right. They know they can't get pregnant. So what they do? Go adopt some children, yeah. they are willing to try to make it look make like it. it's real. Right. And if you ever look at social media or television, more and more, more, and more. the serpent works on media. Yeah. More and more, you find same sex, two men in commercials. Yep. That's right. With little boys. That's right. Subtle, that's the seducing spirit. spirit. Giving you a subtle message. Yeah. So the little boy can say, oh, daddy, I want dad. <laughs> daddy, why, why he got two daddies? That's right. He got two daddies? Don't you want two daddies, Tim? <laughs> yeah, I would like to have two daddies. And that's when your old rotten, no good, stinking father named Bobby John. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Fred bringing Barney. Yeah. Barney coming laughing. <laughs> Fred, look at him. Barney. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Fred, better go back to Wilma. 
Barney better, Barney, Barney better go back to Betty. Go back to Betty. Glory to God, are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. So the commercials are designed to implement subtlety. Yeah. It's called subliminal messages. Subliminal messages. That's right. So you can become fixated at the image yeah. of two men. Yeah. They're in the pulpit now. That's right. They're in the mosque. Yeah. One of the largest homosexual synagogues is right in the state of Pennsylvania. The opening prayer in the Islamic world in the Quran is called the Ar Fataha. That's the opening prayer. There's a homosexual group of Muslims that got a mosque and called their mosque the Al Fataha. They made mockery of their own Islamic opening prayer. You Jews, you claim you are the people of God. You're supposed to know the Torah. That's right. And the book of Leviticus, the Old Testament requires death. Death. If a man in the book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 13. Now, after you read that, mm -hmm. I got to get where Jesus said, thou shalt not kill. Mm -hmm. Then I got to get where Paul said, you killed all the day long. Right. I got to get death. Then I got to get where Jesus said, thou shalt not kill. Then I got to get the apostle Paul, you killed all the day long. Glory to God. We got to balance this thing out. All right, Williams, let's go to work. In the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Yes. If a man also lie with mankind. A man lie with mankind. A man lie with his own. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. As he lies as with the woman. As he lie with the woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. All sex is not the same. Yet is all sin. Yeah. When it breaks God's law. Yeah. There's, we know if you get charged with a felony, you're going to do some time. Versus a misdemeanor. Even though all unrighteousness is sin, there are some sin yeah. outweighs the other. That's right. Amen. Listen. If a man also, still in Leviticus 20 and verse 13. If a man fornicate with a woman. If a man. Yeah. If a man fornicate with a woman, he sinned. But if a man with a man, there is no Bible that when a man lay with a woman and commit fornication, God called it abomination. Abomination. He called it fornication. They still had the shun on the end. <laughs> he called it fornication. Still a sin. Yeah. But now, when you talk about a man try to be with a man, a man. he called it abomination, yeah. which is a higher level of sin. Yeah. Listen. If a man also lie with mankind, yes, as he lies with a woman, what is it? Both of them have committed an abomination. Kill both of them. They shall surely be put to death. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Now, I want you to hear me so I can break this down and make it plain so you out there watching don't think you're justified attacking homosexuals. Mm. Because some of you say, man, I watched that man, Pastor Jennings. He hyped me up. I'm going to kill some homos. <laughs> That goes forth. I got some crazy nuts in here. 
at the service over. Man, you hear that message? It's on. It's on, man. It's on. Yeah, you gave it there. You was a nut. <laughs> Are you listening? Hear me, human family. Amen. And the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. If a man loveth the man, both of them. They shall surely be put to death. I let you know God passed judgment on both of them the same. Yeah. They both shall what? Thou shalt, they shall surely be put to death. Yes. Their blood shall be upon them. Now, here comes Jesus. Now in the book of St. Matthew chapter 19. That's what? I will start at verse 17. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, Why callest thou me good? Why you call me good? There's yeah. no good but one of that one is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, yeah. keep the commandments. Yeah. He saith unto them, Which? Which commandment should I keep? Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder. Don't do no murder. Amen. That means don't kill. Don't kill. Thou shalt not kill. Yeah. Don't do no murder. That's right. Thou shalt not kill. Yeah. And Jesus said, don't do no, no murder. murder. But yet in the book of Leviticus says what? They shall surely be put to death. And what did Jesus say? Thou shalt do no murder. What did Moses say? They shall surely be put to death. What did Jesus say? Thou shalt do no murder. What did Moses say? They shall surely be put to death. What did Jesus say? Thou shalt do no murder. No murder. Thou shalt not kill. kill. <laughs> Thou shalt not kill. That's right. Now let's get the Apostle Paul. Now in the book of Romans chapter 8 and at verse 36. Listen. As it is written for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. One scripture says, they shall surely be put to death. One of the commandments says, thou shall not kill. I believe, give me Romans 13 and 9 or 9, 13. Read it fast. Romans chapter 13 and at verse 9. What is it? Romans 13 and at verse 9. Amen. For this thou shalt not commit adultery. Yes. Thou shalt not kill. Thou what? Thou shalt not kill. What did Leviticus say? They shall surely be put to death. What did the Apostle Paul say? Thou shalt not kill. And what else did Paul say? And also Romans. We are killed how much? For thy sake we are killed all the day long. But thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not kill. All right, now let's break down all three. In the days of old, the days of Moses, you had to be naturally put to death. Because the law was designed for the natural man to put him in check, to govern him. So therefore, natural things was done to him. That's right. Now Jesus come along and said, thou shall not murder or thou shall not kill. But now cause the apostles to preach. You are killed all the day long. But well, wait a minute. That's a different kind of killing. Yeah. Because you can't take a person's life all day. That's right. You can't take a person's life all day. All day. So now, being that I'm not allowed to take your physical life. I still got permission to take your life. Yeah. I don't have Bible right to take your natural life, but yet I'm sent by God to take your life. That's right. I can't take your life physically, yeah. make it stop breathing, yeah. but I have to take your life by indulging in the pledges of life spiritually. spiritually. He that loses life, you see, you got to lose your pleasure. Yeah. And you're not gonna lose it on your own. No, no way. So, you got to be killed. killed. How? All, All the day long. The day long. So back in the Old Testament, they stoned them to death. Yeah. I can't pick up a, spirit, a natural stone. So I have to use a spiritual stone. That's right. Give me Jeremiah. Yeah. I have to use a rock. A rock. 
Can't get no natural stone or rocks off the ground to hit you with. So I have to use a rock and a hammer. He said, it's not my word. In Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 29. That's what? It's not my word like as a fire. It's not my word. See, first, I got the, I, I'm a spiritual arsonist. Yeah. I throw flame on you. That's right. And the flame is the word of God. Yeah. And you burning too, brother. Oh, yeah. Because he said, I'm going to make the people wood, and that word is fire, and they shall devour them. Oh, yeah. That's why you're mad, viewers. You're burning. Burning. The word that you're cooking. Uh -huh. It's not my word like as a fire. It's not my word. It's not my speech. It's not my lessons. Like as a fire. Like fire. Saith the Lord. Saith God. And like a hammer. Why is it like a hammer? You know, you need a hammer to break up that which is stubborn. That's right. You're a hard head. Oh, yeah. And you got a hard heart. And his word is like fire, it come consume you. And it's like a hammer so it can beat the stubbornness out of you. Then what else? And like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. It come break the rocks in pieces. In pieces. So I have to get the rock. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Quickly now. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy. Yeah. I have to get the rock and the stone. I have to Deuteronomy, give me axe. Yeah. Glory to God. Deuteronomy. I use rocks and stones. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Amen. What is a rock? Deuteronomy chapter 32, we'll start at verse 1. You know, a rock and a stone are not the same. <laughs> eh? That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. You see, in this case, the stone came from the rock. <laughs> and the rock was in the stone. <laughs> Let's get the rock first. First in Deuteronomy 32, we'll start at verse 1. Says what? Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will. Give ear! O heaven, and I will talk. And hear, O earth, the, hear, words, o of earth, my the mouth. words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. And? My speech shall distill as the dew. And? As the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Yes. Because I will publish the name of the Lord. I will publish who? The name of the Lord. Tell the world who the Lord is. Ascribe ye greatness unto our God. Unto our God. He is the rock. Who is God? He is the rock. And God is the spirit. That's right. He is the rock. His work is perfect. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth. He's a God of truth. And without iniquity. You see, God is a rock because he's sound. That's right. Strong. Yeah. Firm. Unmovable. That's right. All right, now let's get the stone in the book of Acts. Now in the book of Acts, chapter 4, we'll start at verse 10. I use rock and stone. Yeah. Uh -huh. Be it known unto you Be all, known to everybody. unto all the people of Israel, everybody of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, what is it? whom God raised from the dead, yes. even by him doeth this man stand here before you hold. What's the result? This is the stone. What? This is the stone. This is the stone. Which was set at naught of you builders, build which has become the head of the corner. Yes, sir. Amen. The rock is the nature of the spirit. The stone is the nature of the flesh. That's right. I use both. I bring you the teachings of the spirit, and then I bring you the teachings of what Jesus did in flesh. That's right. Amen. That's and right. go back to the first chapter of the book of Romans quickly now. Back in Romans chapter I 1. I got to hurry up so it's time for me to knock off. Amen. I got to get the transformation right. of the origin. What brings about the change of a man to a man. Right. Or to a man to a transformer. A trans, yeah. More than meets the eye. <laughs> That's right. Yeah? That's right. Yeah, man. He ain't no optimist either. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. All right. Romans 1, we're at verse 22. Listen here. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. So the doctors think you're wise. Yeah. You can cut the man lower anatomy off all you want. All you want. And make it an artificial womb. Yeah. Ain't no babies coming out of there. No. Still a man. Still a man. You can change the vocal cords from baritone and make it high soprano. Still a man. Still a man. You don't believe me? Wait till he go to hell. That's right. And watch that man burn. That's right. Get this. 
professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. What is it? And changed the glory of the uncorruptible God. They changed the glory of the uncorruptible God. Into an image. Into an image. Made like to like corruptible to man. corruptible man. And to birds. Be quick. And four-footed beasts and creeping things. Yes. Wherefore, God also gave them up. God gave you up. To uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. At first, the heart is contaminated. That's right. Through inordinate affection. That's right. It's called also concupiteness. Concupiteness. And it's also called lasciviousness. That's right. Both terms mean extreme, yes. outlandish lust. lust. That's right. Now he going to read the intensity of this lust. That's right. Uh -huh. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness yes. through the lust of their own hearts uh -huh. to dishonor their own bodies between themselves yes. who changed the truth of God. That's what happened. That's it. That's the transgender. That's right. Transgender means that which has been transformed. That's right. The first thing that's transformed, mind. He want to start thinking like a woman. Yeah. He want to start wearing clothes like a woman. Yep. So you put on his mama clothes. That's right. And you women that let your daughter, your son put on your clothes, it ain't cute. No. There's a spirit dealing with him. Yeah. That's right. Throw your wigs out, then your son won't have nothing to put on. Throw your earrings out. You ain't got to worry about your son sneaking them. Yeah. Throw out your lipstick and stop looking like Jezebel. And you ain't got to worry about wonder who putting it on. And you at work and you only got one child and it's a boy. That's right. Lipstick wearing, fake eyelash flasher, eyeline shadow lip painted, ear bob fingernail painted, finger rings everywhere, big toes painted red. You think that make you look cute? Yeah. Even if you're not a hooker, you look like one. That's right. That's the look of Jezebel. Jezebel. That's what your mother meant years ago when she told you. To get away from that Jezebel looking girl. Yeah. The look of Jezebel is the look of a hooker. That's right. So called Christians, right. you've been hooked. That's right. Gird. First lady look like a first hooker. Yeah. Preacher wife look like Jezebel, look like a hooker. <laughs> and won't you want to fight every man because they're looking at your hooker looking wife? That's your hooker looking wife. Showing her cleavage. That's right. Skirt no longer than my jacket and the split in that. Want to show where her backside ends. Mm. And then when she sit down, she try to act like she pulling it down. And she know that curtain can't drop no further. <laughs> Am I right, I say? That's right. You don't dress to give a man a reason to be enticed or lust. That's right. Hey, man, dress your turkey. Yeah. You always want to give thanks? Dress your turkey. <laughs> Cover that stuff up. That's right. Having your children look like little hookers out here. Yeah. Five years old, you got the ears pierced, the eye line shattered, shoes all strapped all the way up to their knees. Yeah. Big old skeletos. Here you're only four feet, and you put them skeletos on like you walking on a ladder. That's right. <laughs> Walk around here jumping and shouting like you Frankenstein. <laughs> Not even a sister in the church. Their shoes should be modest. Everything about modest. men and women should be modest. modest apparel. You don't want a shoe make you even look like you got the feet of a hooker. That's right. There ain't no such thing as holy shoes. But there is such thing as modest. Modest apparel. Go ahead. And when you go shopping, it is the world that's manufacturing all of this. And the world ain't think about modesty. No. So you got to look at what the world make 
and use good judgment because you got to reflect God in your appearance. That's right. That don't mean you will go to hell for wearing a stripe. That's right. But let your stripe be modest. Be modest. That don't mean you will go to hell for wearing a plaid or wearing more than one color. Yeah. If you're going to go to hell for wearing a more color, you better put Joseph in hell. That's right. Because Joseph wore a coat of many, many colors. Many colors. And that many colors represent many nations that's coming into the body of Christ. Yeah. Because when those nations come in, they take on the title Israel. Are you getting me? Go ahead, man. Go ahead, bro. Ah! Go ahead. Go ahead, take God. Mm. Amen. Amen. All right, real quick. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. That's where the transgender come in. Yeah. The change of the mind. That's it. So Satan started changing that mindset. Viewers that are watching, have your son ever came to you and wake you up in the middle of the night? Daddy, mommy, I hear a voice in my bed. I'm scared telling me I can be a little girl. I bear witness and speak the truth and lie not. I had had several cases across America. That identical description where I've met with parents and their children and the parents telling me, Pastor Jenna, my child keep running in my room, waking me and my wife up saying they hear voices telling them, you are a girl. Telling their little sons, you are a girl. You, do, you, you don't have to be a boy. Mm. foundation of one's existence is in the mind. When the mind starts breaking apart, apart, everything about the human being starts to dissolve. That's right. You change a person's mind, you change right. the person. Change the person. That's why the word of God got to be preached strong. Oh yeah. Raw. Firm. The strength in the weak spaces of your mind. Go ahead. Do that think I'm too bitter? I'm not your problem. Your problem is you too weak. Yeah. Oh, you too tough. No, you too much of a coward. Yeah. God said, let us make man. Yeah. Not let us make transgender. No. So you want to force this demonic lifestyle. You that bought this heathen sneakers. <laughs> if you got him and hear this message, and if you're a parent, he got the mark of the beast on him, and he had produced 666 of them yeah. to honor the mark of the beast. They said them things so almost just before they even hit the before, shelves. Good. Yeah. If any of you watching me and you you ain't one of the ones that got him, burn him up. That's right. Don't put them on eBay and sell them. No. Don't put them on eBay and sell them. If you put them on eBay and sell them, you are stretching the hands of evildoers and you are promoting Satanism. Yeah. That goes for anybody here. Yep. If you buy them, you promote Satanism. That's right. And you promote homosexuality. Sexuality. Burn them up. Burn them up. Get rid of them. Don't you buy no sneakers or caps or blouses or pants or shirts or pocketbooks that got the emblems of skulls and crossbones. That's right. Well, we wear it for fun. I wear it to work. And you supposed to represent God? Mm. Throw that mess in the trash. That's right. What have God said? Except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, he shall in no case enter in. Don't let your good be evil spoken of. Don't even buy a watch with a crossbone face in it. That's right. When I paid $2,000, that's your crossbone problem. <laughs> if you've been paying attention to teaching, you wouldn't have wasted your money. Right. 
And they even have underwear with it. That's Satanism. That's right. All that stuff promote evil. Yeah. It, promote, it promote darkness. Yeah. It ain't for fun. No. Best round to let the spirit of devil uh, give him an invitation yeah. to visit you. Oh, come yeah. right in your room and possess your mind, soul, and spirit and make you blaspheme God mm. right to the grave. You better hear this hear warning it. and hear this message, you hard hair, stiff neck, held bound watchers. You rappers, oh, you're of the devil of a truth. Oh, yeah. God has proven to you, you ain't above dying. No. Came over there last night, DMX, in hospital, critical. Wow. I don't care what name you take on, God know how to get you. That's right. If you born, your name is Ronald Hayes. You can go under another name, Cool Nickel. <laughs> when death come to you, God said, I want Ronald Hayes. Ain't no death angel gonna come back. There ain't no Ronald Hayes. <laughs> I, went, I went to get Ronald Hayes, my Lord. <laughs> but, uh, well, who was there? There's some fellow named Cool Nickel. They ain't having that discussion up there. No, no. But all they gonna say, look stupid. <laughs> Cold nickel is Rhino Hayes. Get back down there and get him. <laughs> Lord ain't gonna do that. <laughs> you can, <laughs> glory to God, you can make up any dumb name you want. 50 cents, half nickel, quarter, Indian head, jumbo grease. <laughs> any name you want. Glory to God. Amen. Any name you want, Mac Daddy. That's right. Cool Breeze, Slick, Slick. Shorty, Greasy Top, Flat Top flat Finky. Top. <laughs> Amen. Cool Breeze. God don't get confused when he knock at, at your door. No. When we was coming up, we ain't hardly ever called Williams by his name, Steve. Never. No. We call him Soup. That's right. We call him Soup. And now we call him Script. Yeah. Because he holds the script. Yeah. God sent a deaf angel to him. I want you to get Soup. <laughs> the devil could be like, you mean Campbell's? Oh. <laughs> Chunky? No. No. Go with that God. <laughs> you can hide under any name you want. That's right. Lord, come from Dan. <laughs> I want Dan Thompson. And you come flying around, <laughs> Lord. I ran up on someone named Dan the Man. We call him. <laughs> People call him Dan the Man, but there was no Dan Thompson. There was just Dan the Man. <laughs> you see what I'm talking? And the angel ain't gonna get it mixed up. There was, I'm taking this route to slap you clean over. Hide under any dumb name you want. When God strike you, the only thing you have to stand up firm in judgment is a wall full of gold albums, music awards, all the cussing that you did in your movie script, blaspheming God, belittling God. Then you die that way because of your loyalty to the Illuminati and every other wicked secret society under the sun. Yeah. You religious crook and you hypocrite and sinner. 
Have your fun now. Have your fun now. But repentance is a requirement. That's right. Yes, and you better repent and get it right with God before you die. Yeah. Your popularity isn't worth nothing. nothing. Your mama ain't the last one that's going to see you. No, no. And the preacher's not the last one that's going to say something over you. That's right. The last one you're going to meet is God. God. Acts 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. God gave us a lot of good lot territory of to come. <laughs> then Peter said unto them, Repent. God wants you to be convicted about your wrong. Repent, be sorry. sorry. Godly sorrow worketh. It works. Your brothers don't have to stand. Sit down because you're in people's way. Just be seated. Just the baptism folk can stand. You security, you remain seated. All security remain seated. Because you'll be blocking people's view and whatnot. But them not saying baptism, you can stand and go to your designated place. The Bible says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. This is what God wants you to do. Yeah. You better be sorry for being out here, shaking your behind and selling your dope and selling your crap and smoking your pipes and vaping and think it's innocent. That's right. And you go to some church on Sunday to pretend you some fool Christian and you no more like Christ than a dog is a cat. You know, you don't, you don't find a cat trying to be a dog. No. You men out here trying to be women. You don't find no dog. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> the dog know his nature. That's right. Lord, take God and he know his place. Yeah. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You better repent for all your foolishness. Your mansions, your bank account, all your gold teeth and all the rings on your finger and your bed full of holes, that mm. don't mean nothing. Make your video and shake, 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 shake. You can start shaking when you're 100 pounds. When you stop, you're 287. <laughs> shake all you want until you put a crack in the foundation of your floor. Mm. But buddy, that's some shaking too, isn't it? That's right. You will understand yeah. when God knock on the shake of your window and God won't be impressed with you. No, no. Not what the Holy Book says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You're going to die. You better die right. I don't believe in no hell, Pastor Dennis. So? So? Big deal. Don't phase me none. That's your business. That's your business. Pastor Jenny, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in no God. That's your dumb business. Your business. God saw you. You know what he called you? Yeah. A fool. A fool. The Bible said the fool have said in his heart. No God. There is no God. There is no God. There. God saw you coming. God already saw you. Who can you think about your unbelief? What of God says? Then Peter said unto them, repent, repent and be baptized. Who? Every one of you. For what? In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. God wants you to get your sins washed away. away. Bowing head, raise your hands. Just give you a tired neck and tired shoulders. That's right. Raise your head up and put your arms down. You no more saved than a duck can smoke crack. And become so high he lays square eggs. I'm making it hard for you. Because that's hard for a duck that's to hard do. For a duck. Bow your head and raise your hands. Join churches, pray sinners, prayer. Ain't none of you saved. None of you. None of you that did that ever been saved. Nobody. You can go to Billy Graham's. Uh, if you went to his crusade or Shambok crusade <laughs> or Peter Popoff crusade, and the reason why he's laughing because he's an ex crusader. <laughs> For Shambach. That's right. Do you miss those days, William? Uh, no, Pastor. I don't, don't miss, miss those, those days. days. I don't miss them. I got to make sure it's out of them before he try to start it up undercover. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Holy Ghost said. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of every you. One of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. With all the crusades you want, but any mass crowd you went to, large or small. And the preacher said, on television, on radio, on internet, or in his pulpit. Accept Christ as your personal savior. Or told you, repeat after me. And say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner coming to my heart. Wash me, cleanse me, white as snow. And the preacher say, you're saved. He lied to you. He lied. You're still a dirty, old, rotten, stinking sinner. That's right. Who? You and your mama. <laughs> That's right. And your husband. And your children. And your daddy. That's right. And your slap happy grandpappy. Go ahead. And your pastor. Go ahead. And your whole church. Mm. You can shout now if you want. <laughs> Amen. Shout speaking all the tongue you want. The tongue you want. Word of God said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You got to be convicted for your wrong. That's right. Repent. And be baptized. How much? Every one of how you. How much it be done? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. That's how you get your sins washed away. And what did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of God. Anybody here want to get right and don't want to go to hell? And want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ like God said? Stand on your feet if you want it. Stand on your feet if you want it. <laughs> Wonderful. All of you that are standing, come over here. You that are watching in the gym, if there's anybody standing in the gym, stand up and get ready to be baptized. All right, one of the brothers get ready here. Brother Webb is over at the gym. Well, one of y'all go to the gym to check and make sure somebody's there. You ain't got to bring them over here. Right there, there's water. Nothing hindered them to be baptized. Take them down. Listen. Slam dunk them in the gym and free throw them right here. <laughs> We're going to have a full court guard full note. Court. Who give me the correct time, brothers? 3.30. All right. God gave us a belly full. <laughs> Come on back. Look at that. Come get ready to go down the water. Isn't that a blessing? Now... We're going to let you go, let you break, give you more time. We normally, prayer normally start at 5 o'clock. But we're going to let prayer start at 5.15. Give you a little bit. <laughs> what somebody said? What did say? <laughs> I didn't hear that. What somebody said? I don't know what they said. What they said? Huh? Who what? It's just a 15 minute break. Oh, just 15 minutes. <laughs> I should have put it to 501. <laughs> we have moved to 515. And uh, you have prayer from 515. <laughs> no. Yes, prayer from 515. To 5.45. And you have a short praise and testimony service. Short. <laughs> Get up and tell what God done for you. Because I'm scheduled to go back on at 6 o'clock. And thousands of folk is waiting for this message. Wonderful. <laughs> all right. Let us all stand. Eternal, everlasting God in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, we thank you for the manifestation of thine word. You have said through the apostles that you make manifest your word through preaching. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your divine wisdom and your perfect understanding of all things. Let the word of God sink in the hearts of men and women that are here and the millions that are watching and listening. Let the hearts be pricked and those that have not yet obeyed it. That the human family may turn towards heaven and realize there is no God but one and besides you there is no other. 
Move on the hearts of the human family to repent, give up, surrender, give over, and submit to your will. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and you promise to fill them with the Holy Ghost. Protect us as we go back to our separate places. Till we come back again, let your peace and mercy be with us. These blessings we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let every heart say amen. amen.